with emancipation, now blacks in the South are free. Now they have to figure out, hmm, how is it that I use this freedom, use this new place in which I find myself? Which is not a question that they were even able to ask me for. What does it mean to be an American? What does it mean to be a free American? I think The Legend of John Henry is a reflection of that aspiration. You know, it's a sort of a, an overt manifestation of the anxiety and the uncertainty and the hopefulness and the optimism. And at the same time, the realistic understanding that this is not going to be easy. Four black men were facing criminal charges in 1866. Among the four defendants was a 19-year-old man far from his home of New Jersey, knee-high to a grasshopper. He appeared young for his age. His name was John William Henry. When he's in the state court system, those people do not have the best interests at heart of the men who are there, particularly a foreigner, particularly somebody with a New Jersey accent, particularly a young black man who no one knows. The Rebs just lost a terrible war and they were fit to be tied to see so many free blacks in their midst. It's hard for us to even imagine the kind of unrest there was. There were riots between former Confederates and African Americans. There was a number of church burnings. Nobody really understood what the rules were. After the war, millions of dollars were ponied over to connect the country by rail. This massive network of track was referred to as the Great Railway Octopus. Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad is this long dream by Virginians to get to the Ohio River. And it you know, lasts for 40 years and it never gets done. It's not done until after the war. And the person who does it is a black man who's a convict from New Jersey. There's a kind of lovely irony, I think, in that. 